Well, good morning, audience. I think we're gonna have to turn the hose off because uh, <laughs> as soon as she came out here this morning, that's the first thing she went for. She's like, "This is this is the greatest thing ever." She figured it out. Oh, you silly little thing. Well, good morning, audience, to you guys as well. You need to learn how to use that toy. I highly doubt you'll ever use it, but maybe you never know. All right, girls, you guys are gonna stay here for a little bit. Your dad and I are going to go look at something that we might get to bring home for you. But you don't get to go with us because it'd be too hot for you to sit in the car while we go and look at things. So you're going to hang out here in the AC for a little bit. We'll be home shortly. What are you doing, Jamie? Getting the dust off of my feet. <laughs> keeping, keeping it all nice and clean? Yeah. You know we're going to go drive it and probably get dirty. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. Look at mine's all dirty. Actually, mine's not too bad. I washed it not that long ago. It just got rained on. I guess yours did too, though. This yeah. is so cool looking. Looks like a wet towel. Feels like a wet towel. It's <laughs> so weird. <laughs> uh, so we headed down to Houghton Lake today. I kind of said that we were leaving and going somewhere. We're already almost there. We headed down to Houghton Lake today, and we just stopped at this little park on the side of the road. And I don't know if you guys remember watching this when we were at, we were with Mike and Brittany and, we were play, and Charles and we were playing with the merry-go-round. We made the joke about they don't make merry-go-rounds like this anymore. Apparently, I didn't know this, but this is what merry-go-rounds now look like. It looks like you're supposed to sit. Mm -hmm. That's so weird. I guess that makes it safer. Yeah, Can yeah. you still spin it super fast? No, so it's got like resistance, so you can't. Well, that's no fun. No, not as fast as we were going. I mean, if you were sitting in there, that'd be still pretty quick. I don't think I want to sit in there. No. My butt would get wet. Everything's wet. Yeah, we stopped at this little kid playground. We were like, oh, we'll get out of the car, stretch our legs for a few minutes before we finish on to our final destination. All right, back. Yeah, tennis course, baseball. It's kind of a nice net. little park. Basketball. Yeah. All right, back to the Jeep. We thought it was funny that there was nobody here. <laughs> it's a little warm today. Yeah, that's true. If you guys have been around for a while, you may remember last year, probably about the same time of the year, probably. we were here. But we're here again, and this is where we've come today. We are at Camping World and RV Sales. And we're gonna go over there and look at some motorhomes that they have here for sale. We didn't tell you that a couple of days ago we thought we found one. I mean, we were we were going to get it. We were literally, we were so excited. We were excited to like surprise everybody. It was a long drive. That was the yeah, downside. It was, it was four hour drive away. Four, four and hours half hour. and 15 minutes yeah, to go pick it up. Four and a half hour drive away from where we were at. So it was a long drive and that was the hard part. But yeah. the, everything else was... It was perfect. Yeah. It was the motorhome we've been looking for. And private, it was the right price. And... Private individual, private owner. I mean, it was... It was but because of that, he sold it out from underneath us. After I talked to the guy for like five days. It was ridiculous. So they have a couple here that were in our price range. So we're going to go look at some other homes. Why do we do this in the summer? It's, it's going to be that, so See, that was why there. I wanted to do it yesterday. Oh, because Yesterday it was, it was raining and, rainy, and it was yeah. cold and it would have been perfect. But I didn't even think about that. I did. <laughs> now, it, now it's sunny and 80, so it's going to okay. be at least 80 inside all of them RVs. Well, let's go look real fast. Look fast. <laughs> So this is the one we saw online, and Jamie's right, it is already hot in here, <laughs> that we were looking at. This is a Class C RV. It is a Jayco Granite Ridge, which is pretty nice. It has one slide out, this whole side slides out, so the dogs would have a couch to sit on, or this folds down into a bed as well. I think those are all the vents for air and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I bet the AC... Runs through. The there's AC. a yeah. thing here. And then there's also vents in the floor, but I don't know if that's just heat or if that's cold air return. That might be for the furnace. It might just be for the furnace. I think this is for the cold air. Oh, probably. You can screw it in to close it, and oh. it still leaves a little gap for airflow to come through. There's about. And there's yeah, and there's three, four of them up yeah, here. Yeah, that could be what that is. So I think that's what that is. So here's the back area. There's a bed, nice big queen size bed, so the dogs could lay there while we were driving. Bathroom. Shower, cute shower. I like that it has a door and not a curtain. Oh right, I like yeah. that. So and a sound barrier too. <laughs> sink, all that stuff. Yeah, I kind of like this. 
Could you picture yourself driving this sucker while we right. have the dogs in the back? Yeah. I think I could. Yeah, I think it you could. Looks too. like a van. Yeah. It drives like one. Mm -hmm. You've got a butt. There's just this much butt behind you. Yep. It's not that long. Mm -hmm. I think it's 30 feet total. Right. So that's not too bad. Definitely is a little wide. Yeah. So you can tell that we're 100% thinking about the dogs when we look at this because our only concern with this model is the steps. Sorry, we're right by a main road, so it's kind of loud. Oh, there's another one across the street we should go look at too. Check that out. Look at that one over there. It's a Class B RV, but it's got two slide outs. Yeah, I don't like the rear slide out for the bed in the back. But we don't know if it bends. It might not. It might yeah, not bend true, the bed because we I looked at some that didn't. So our biggest concern. Yeah. Yeah, walk up them steps, kind of show them. Yeah, so Jamie's six foot one. So like we know that Shelby and Memphis currently could do these steps, but there's no way Oakley could do these steps. But we do have that big 72 inch telescoping ramp that if we put here, she could come up the ramp and then make the last little jump. I think she'd be fine. Yeah. That would and, be my biggest concern. And then like you said, we could put the double gate Yep. Here yep. to help prevent them from We could even escaping. get the baby gate like at the basement that actually has the door in it. Yeah, Instead of there. the, hey, move the gate each time, oh, right. it'll have an actual door in it. That would work. Because we we like to have double door escape policies. Yeah. Because <laughs> if somebody doesn't shut this correctly and it slides open, right. we want to make sure the dog still can't get out. Oh, I love that this is metal. Oh, uh, you can put that on any door. <laughs> yeah, but the yeah, dog can't tear it up. Dog. Yeah, right. Oh. Wow, my face is super red from being inside the motorhomes. Yeah, it's pretty warm. It's hot. 84. So, the one we drove all the way over here to see has an offer that is pending. And the people just left. Yeah, they just left. So, offer financing. They didn't, they didn't take it off the lot or buy it. They're still financing. Yeah, if their financing doesn't go through, it'll go back up for sale. We did talk to somebody inside. They said they'll let us know tomorrow. The one we showed you guys was the one we were say, really yeah, interested in. Yeah. yeah. The only downfall to it is those steps. So steps. maybe if it does fall through, it was a good thing. Then it was meant to be. Well, we we thought the same thing about either, the one we lost out on downstate. Either way, I think we could figure it out. I do like yeah. the other two that we kind of looked at because the the floor was a lot lower, lower and it was a class B and not a class C. So yeah. that might be. A, a line for us just yeah. for the dogs because it seems like as soon as you go that class C it's up Higher another step. 8 to 12 inches taller so it's another one good yeah. step so that's kind of where we're at we're gonna drive around here and there's a couple other places that's around right. here that have them for sale but yeah we're gonna crank the AC so it's gonna get loud and then uh yeah that's kind of where we're at look what we got we put a pool in the back of Jamie's Jeep. Yep. The dog's big pool has a big hole in it. Yeah, I hit it with a long hole. Yeah, good job, Jamie. Uh, uh, try not to do that again. Yeah, so we found another one. I've been looking for one in town. I couldn't find one. And we're in Gaylord. Hold on a second. Yeah, so we were driving through Gaylord and we, we stopped at Five Guys Burgers and Fries and finally tried Cajun Fries, which were amazing. Thank you guys for suggesting that. And we thought we would look for a pool because nobody in Alpena had one left. They're already all gone. So we found a pool. So we got a new pool for the dogs. I know it's not a big giant pool, but we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> now we're heading back home to feed them some lunch. We made it back! The dogs are like, oh, thank goodness. Lunch is a little bit late. That's okay. They don't seem to mind too much. What? Are you happy we're back? No, eat your food. We didn't go see any puppies. Sorry. We didn't go see any puppies. We looked at motorhomes, but the one we wanted is sold. So, here. Eat your food with your cheese on it, diva. No, we're not playing the game. Memphis is going to eat your food if you don't eat it. <laughs> eat your food. Oh my goodness. Daddy cut the grass. You can go back outside now. And guess what we got? You know, I realized just a minute ago that the only two that are actually going to be excited about it <laughs> is Memphis and Shelby. Oakley... You're not really excited we got a new pool, are you? Because you don't really like the pool. We're going to have to get you something else. I'm going to have to go get you a bag of treats all to yourself. How does that sound? A bag of treats all for you? Deal. Next time I go to the store, bag of treats all for Oakley. What you got, Memphis? Look! Look, there's a pool without a hole in it! So he's like, oh, but there's no water in it. Yeah, there's no water in it yet. we got to go out to Amanda's and help decorate for the wedding. Go see Axel and Ruger. That'll be fun. What do you think? What? That's your new pool. It's got, we gotta put water in it though. Not right now though. Yeah, how about tomorrow? 
<laughs> so we just got home. We went out to Amanda's and helped her decorate a little bit for her wedding. Amanda is Axel and Ruger's owner. Um, when we were pulling up from Houghton Lake, the UPS guy showed up and handed Jamie a bunch of boxes. <laughs> so I'm all like, hey, I just got home. Make sure I grab my phone. Oh, UPS guy is here. <laughs> oh, he's got boxes. What do I do with my phone? I need my hands. <laughs> Mind you, setting your phone on a bumper to a vehicle, not a good idea. How do you know that, Jamie? Has that ever happened to you before? Yeah, just a couple times. Maybe <laughs> once before if you check. <laughs> so I grab the UPS boxes and I go, oh, hey, look, we got a UPS box. And then we left to go to Amanda's. And now Jamie's phone looks like this. <laughs> At least we found it though, I mean. So I left it on the bumper <laughs> and drove away. We made it two corners. Yeah, and, and somebody ran it over it though. It became road meat. Yeah, that definitely wasn't, that didn't fall off and have that happen. Somebody saw it and thought it'd be funny and ran it over. I don't even know if it, it doesn't matter if it's <laughs> on purpose or not, but I have a feeling that the case is like almost well, be careful. holding the glass in place. Be careful. Be careful, don't cut yourself. You should have gloves on. Oakley's mm -hmm. like, I would like to go outside, guys. Well, the back is definitely That's not... That's a Kevlar, man. Yeah, it's definitely not crashed, but the, the front of it is definitely crashed. I don't... Will it turn on? I don't think it will. Okay. Did you try? Don't, don't cut yourself. I do not see lights. I don't see lights either. Could not your battery be dead, though? Uh, very well, yeah. Ooh. I don't know. Should we plug it in? Yeah, let's plug it in. All right. Well, that was anticlimactic. We plugged it in, and no, it won't turn on. Wow. Don't cut yourself. Okay. The audience is going to freak out. Knock it off. It's it's falling out of there. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I guess no, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. Since we have the same phones, only mine's in good shape. You get my phone, I get a new phone. Deal? Sure. All right. Ooh, that's creepy sound. I don't think they'll be able to hear it. Probably not. I don't no. want to cut myself. Yeah, please don't. Please don't. All right. Well, that just made tonight interesting. Sorry, hon. Yeah. At least you found it, which, even though it's broke, I know that made you feel better. There's my SIM card. Yay! <laughs> so, hey, Memphis, do you know what smashing a phone means? It means we need to make something to make us happier, right? Not that it really matters. We're, we're getting Jamie a new phone tomorrow. But we're making... Homemade ice cream. I just got a new homemade ice cream maker. Check this out, guys. Yeah. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm making homemade ice cream. I haven't done this in so long. Because our... Whoa, focus! Our old homemade ice cream maker, the motor finally went on it. It was probably 10 years old. So I picked up this new Cuisinart one that you actually don't need the rock salt or ice for. You just put the whole bowl in the freezer. I figured... Why not give it a try? Oh, did you come to help make some ice cream too? Did you come to help make some ice cream? Yeah? These girls are like, you were gone for too long today. Sorry, we had to go help Amanda. We didn't expect to have to do that after we got back. So you can hang out in here with the kitchen, in the kitchen with me while I make some ice cream. Check that out, it's starting to look like ice cream. Oh, did you come to help make ice cream too? Did you accidentally get locked in the bedroom and that's why you were missing? because daddy went and put his pajamas on and accidentally shut you in the bedroom and we didn't know you were in there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and then when we found her, she thought we were mad at her. <laughs> we weren't mad at you, we're sorry. <laughs> and we have homemade ice cream. Now the thing about homemade ice cream when you make it is it's very soft. So a lot of times people will take it and then put it in the freezer for like two hours just to harden it up a little bit. But we want it now, so we're eating some ice cream. Did you get your crazies out? You ready for bed? How about you? Even though you were already locked in the bedroom for a little bit and you tried to go to bed. I'm like, you guys are just gonna lock me in here. I'm just gonna go to sleep. We didn't we really didn't mean to lock you in there. You should have like barked or something. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Are you gonna go crazy too? <laughs> are you ready for bed? You look like you're getting ready to jump. What are you gonna do? I'm sorry, we didn't mean to leave you in there. I say I was sorry. All right, you guys, after a long, crazy, weird day, 
<laughs> uh, thinking we might have found another motorhome, didn't find it, Jamie broke his phone, going out there with Amanda to help her get ready for her wedding, and holy cow, there's still so much to do. We had a crazy busy day, didn't we? we we're going to bed. Alright you guys, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again on Monday. Good night, po oh denied, oh denied. Good night, audience. I'm gonna pet you anyway. <laughs> oh, you wanna play? No, you're supposed to be going to bed. Go to bed. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlog.